Ford Motor Company tossed me the keys to a 2019 Mustang Bullet when I was invited to attend the 11th Annual American Muscle Mustang Show held at Maple Grove Raceway in Moncton, Pennsylvania in June. Run by Turn 5 as both a Mustang community event as well as a marketing event, but more really as a fundraiser for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Turn 5 is an aftermarket supplier that, in addition to American Muscle for Mustangs, has products for pickups under the American trucks and Jeeps under extreme terrain, all very online sales focused. The event is really a huge show with more than 5,000 Mustangs, almost every type and color, and upwards of 10,000 people in attendance. Though it was hard to find older Mustangs prior to that of the Fox body, with the 1980s and newer ones a more common sight. As I was bringing the bullet, the show provided me with specialty parking pass for the primo parking in the center of the event giving me the opportunity to experience the cars as well as the people who love them. Arrival at any car show is an experience, and Mustangs are as loud as they are brightly colored. Many of the clubs made the journey as a crew, both the spectator parking and display parking was ever-expanding as more people arrived throughout the day. The event is as much a family event as anything. Hard to categorize any demographic that are avid Mustang owners and enthusiasts. Lots of dads with kids, gals, pretty much everyone imaginable came to celebrate this American pony car. Some came just to hang out with Justin Dugan, American Muscle's YouTube celebrity host, as well as and of course shopping at the various vendors one of which was Ford Motor Company itself, talking about the importance of getting those airbags recalls taken care of on the Mustang. The passenger side, the glove box is gonna open. Two bolts here, they're gonna reach up, push the entire unit out, lay this surface on a clean area. Under these four nuts. Remove this bracket, this entire unit slides out, that's the faulty one, you're going to take a brand new one, which you can tell is quite a bit different, we'll put the caps on, Slide the new one in, new wiring harness, new bracket, four bolts, and it's done. The driver's side, on the steering column, there's two uh, panels that will get popped out, two bolts that get undone, the entire horn assembly comes out, four nuts get undone. The old one goes out, new one looks identical to that. New one gets put back in, four bolts, slip back in, tighten, finish. Vendors installing tires and wheels as well as exhaust systems on site. And of course the crowd pleased that made everyone go over the drive. While at the American Muscle event, I learned a lot about Mustangs, and I learned a lot about bullets. Bullets are numbered, and the Ford Mustang bullet that I got to drive for the week was not just any number. It was manufacturer's prototype 002, which was quite impressive to the many spectators who knew and appreciated this genre of driving the Mustang, especially this 2019 Dark Highland Green Bullet was different than any of the cars that I'd been given the honor of piloting as an automotive journalist. A V8-powered, six-speed American muscle machine. Notice the pool ball shifter knob and the active valve performance exhaust, which I never found the quiet setting on. Not that I really wanted to find it in the first place. We played around with the normal, the Sport Plus, and race modes more than anything else on this Mustang. Driving the six-speed did take attention. We found it interesting that the big hood vents were just there for looks, 
and could not find any way that they provided air intake into the engine. The 5 liter V8 growled and made plenty of power. It was almost sad that I could not really let it stretch its muscles driving it here in the outskirts of Washington, D.C. The Bullet seemed to be a lot of fun car for the money. MP002 had the $2,100 Bullet Electronics Package and the Magna Ride Dampening Suspension, the $1,695 option. Did not have the $1,595 Recaro Seat Package, which would have been great if it were to be used as a weekend track car. The Bullet stickered out at $51,290, including a $900 destination and delivery charge. The current Fastback design is a classic and takes you back to the original days of the Mustang, even as it entered its larger and more powerful years in the late 1960s. Which brings us to the beginning, when it was the IT car for the mid-1960s, coming from a very common roots of a Ford Falcon. And that Ford Falcon, while dull by today's standards, was a big change from what was being made at the time. Large and not so fuel efficient vehicles. But then again, fuel was less than 50 cents a gallon, and that was for full service. So this morning we're saying goodbye to the bullet as it goes back to the fleet company. Thank you, Navs and Ford Motor Company, for letting us have this fabulous uh, Ford product. We had a lot of fun with it. Um, it growled and it did all the things it's supposed to do, but most importantly, it was a nice ride. So 